This extra twin mattress would nicely serve as a cozy reading nook, but it's a little blah and boring. Add some height to the space with an easy to build house canopy. You'll need eight two by twos and two one by fours, a miter saw, safety glasses, measuring tape, two inch screws, a sanding block or sandpaper, a drill with pilot holes and screwdriver bits, and a level. First, measure the length and the width of the mattress and add an inch and a half to accommodate the two by twos. So my final length measurement is 76 inches and my final width measurement is 38 inches. Cut two two by twos at 76 inches and two at 38 inches. Use the sanding block or sandpaper to smooth the cut edges and any rough areas of the wood. Do this with every piece of wood as you go. Lay the 76 inch pieces along the long sides and the 38 inch pieces along the ends. Butt the shorter pieces up to the sides of the longer pieces to create the corners. Drill pilot holes before securing with two inch screws as this will keep the wood from splitting. Cut four two by twos at 48 inches long. Secure vertically next to the corner screws. Use the level to ensure these pieces are angled straight up and secure with a second screw just above the first. Cut two 43 and a half inch two by twos. Set one on top of one end's vertical pieces. Drive a screw straight down into each of the vertical two by twos to hold the end together. Do the same thing for the other end. Cut one 70 and a quarter inch two by two and secure along the back of the frame. It will screw into the side of the two rear vertical pieces and under the horizontal top pieces just added. To make the gables, set the miter saw to make 45 degree angle cuts at one end of each two by two. You'll need two pieces cut at 29 and 3 fourths inches and two pieces cut at 28 and a half inches. Ensure the measurements are made at the longest part of the angled cut. I find it easiest to cut the 45 degree angle first, then measure the length, then make the straight cut at the other end. The shorter 28 and a half inch piece should butt up to the side of the longer 29 and 3 fourths inch piece. The two 45 degree angled ends will sit flat on the horizontal pieces already on the frame's ends. You'll be screwing in here to secure the peak. Reassure your impatient supervisor that the house canopy is almost done. Drill pilot holes into the 45 degree angled ends. Angle the drill so that the hole will come out of the end of the wood piece and not the side. Drill a pilot hole and then screw in where the two gable pieces make the peak. Place a gable on top of the horizontal piece at each end and screw in place. Cut two one by fours at 73 and a half inches long. Secure one on each side of the top of the peak. Create 12 braces. Each should be eight and three fourths inches long and have 45 degree cuts at both ends. Secure one brace at each corner where the bottom frame attaches to the vertical 48 inch piece. Secure one end through the vertical piece and the other end through the brace to the frame. Secure the remaining braces where each of the wood pieces connect to make corners and inside of the top of each gable. While the braces reinforce the frame and make it very sturdy, the house canopy is not meant for climbing or hanging on. Make sure they behave safely while enjoying it. Decorate with cool burning LED lights, sheer fabric, pillows, soft blankets, and anything else to make the space cozy and fun. On the fly, DIY.